It doesn't look too good for Ethereum. Uh, I'm watching it right now. Ethereum is down almost 22% in comparison to Bitcoin in recent history, meaning you would have been 22% better if you would have held Bitcoin. What does this mean for Ethereum bag holders, right? What does this mean for us? I have a lot of Ethereum myself. What am I going to be doing? Does this mean that we should retreat? I'm angry, bro. I'm angry. I got money to make. Weirdo. What's the sell all of our Ethereum or maybe some altcoins and jump into Bitcoin because it's still in the show, right? Bitcoin's been doing extremely well. What does this mean for us? I'm gonna dive into all the details of the specific trade. Guys, this is a huge trade boiling up, right? You don't wanna miss this opportunity um, and more. Keep watching. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Alex back with another cryptocurrency video. Guys, there's a massive trade boiling up as we speak. I'll show you the exact buy and sell points. I'm even gonna go out on a limb and say that last bull run in 2016, 2017 was most likely started by Ethereum. I'm gonna go into all those details and more. But before we get started, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the number one cryptocurrency channel on the internet, um, I don't even know what you're doing. Do us both a favor, hit that subscribe button as well as the push notification bell. So you get videos like this all the time. Some of it's time sensitive. Some of it, you know, it's just random videos talking about my mistakes in cryptocurrency. So if you wanna make fun of me, uh, smash that like button and get this to as many people as you possibly can. Let's embarrass Alex. Also, I have some really good news for you guys. Really, really good news. Obviously, you know, there's discounts and deals around Christmas time and the holiday season. And I am doing the same thing with Fundamental Secrets. If you wanna get access to the Fundamental Secrets for 30% off, I'm talking about you literally save hundreds of dollars. Go ahead, head over to the website, apply for the Fundamental Secrets. This is my group where I do literally, you know, live Q&As, two, two hour live Q&As a week. We have a live hangout on Wednesdays. It's literally 12 hours long where we have a coach in there answering all questions. We even have a customer support to walk you and guide you to success as well as my proprietary information on fundamental analysis and how I research cryptocurrencies. This is a premier course. People are getting ridiculous results. Um, and this is where you get all my buy and sell calls. My personal, with my portfolio, comes from the Fundamental Secrets. Guys, take advantage of this because we're discontinuing the offer um, after New Year's. So I'm giving you guys a shot, to, you know, for your New Year's resolution to make money in cryptocurrency. Definitely take advantage of the discount. That's immediate earnings. If you're ever planning on getting into Fundamental Secrets, this is definitely the time to do it. Um, because like I said, I'm going to discontinue it. So go ahead to the link description below. Go ahead and click that link, head over to the website. And you have to apply, okay? You can't just buy it. You have to apply and talk to my coach so he can explain, you know, what it is to see if it's the right fit for you. Now, it might not be a right fit for you. We have a, a, a different products. We also have parabolic trades that you can jump into. Um, so there's no reason to rush. Just go ahead and apply to the fundamental secrets. As long as you're in before the first, you should be good. Also, I'm getting really active on Instagram. So guys, go to my Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description below. And as well as I have a second YouTube channel, it's about entrepreneurship. All the links will be in the description below. I, that's like my four main links that I usually you know, post and, and the pin comment or whatever the case is. So go ahead, check that out. Definitely follow me on Instagram because I might do a giveaway and I'm definitely doing some buy calls on Instagram. So go ahead below. All right, so let's jump into the video. You guys know, uh, you know, I make the vast majority of my money off of YouTube and my course. I don't do sponsored uh, reviews on anything. So the type of information that you guys get on this channel, I just want to be very clear, it's going to be higher quality, just being the fact that I don't have to sell my soul to a, a platform or something like that and get paid to talk about their platform, right? We don't do that on this channel. Everything here is uh, just straight trying to get you straight to the money. That's like my goal. That's uh, the best goal, I think. Because if you guys are making money, you're going to get more motivated. You're going to want to do more research. My goal is to ethically bribe you into making your own decisions. My goal is to bribe you and make you money so that you guys can actually research, get excited, build some confidence, and make your own decisions. That's the only goal of this channel. And if you appreciate that, guys, again, do me a favor, man. Hit the like button. Let's get as many likes as possible. Let's get it to 2,000 likes. If I get it to 2,000 likes, I don't know, I might do a giveaway or something like that. So definitely a Christmas giveaway or I don't know, whatever. But let's jump into the video. So as you can see from the chart here, I mean, it's very simple, guys. In the recent history since November, uh, in the past month or so, we've been losing a lot in comparison to Bitcoin. As you can see right here, this is ETH versus BTC. So if the market goes down, that means Bitcoin is stealing the show. And if the market goes up, that means Ethereum is doing better than Bitcoin. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that we're losing money on Ethereum. Ethereum actually been going up a couple of percentages, right? And it's been doing okay, it's not bad. It just means that Bitcoin's doing way better. Now, being that Bitcoin is just a straightforward answer, everybody knows they should have some Bitcoin, at least you should know. It's actually better in this case for the past month if you would have held Bitcoin than Ethereum. Now we did make a trade originally, as you can see from the circle here, 
this was actually called on the channel. So this original trade right here. Now, if you look, right, this is about, this is like a 25% gain. So out of this 25%, you know, we made the trade on the channel and I took profits at the top here as well as right here. And we, we increased our Bitcoin position. This is a perfect opportunity. I know we always talk about altcoins on the channel, but this is even easier. Like Bitcoin versus, you know, uh, Ethereum is an easier trade because there's way more liquidity. There's way more people, you know, trading these coins than any of the altcoins, right? One of the biggest things with altcoins is, is liquidity. If it doesn't have a lot of exit liquidity, there's not going to be big players that jump into smaller market caps. This is why we don't really look at market caps below 10 million. If it's below 10 million, you know, I usually kind of step away because nobody's going to get into that with a lot of money. If you have a lot of money, you're not going to get into that. You cannot exit that, right? So, and you'll also get slippage. So Bitcoin and Ethereum is usually the best trades. And it's the juiciest because we, you should, if you have the right macro portfolio structure, you should have mostly Bitcoin and Ethereum. So yes, it might be smaller percentages. Like it might only be like a 25% increase or decrease or whatever the case is, but you should make more money because you should have Bitcoin and Ethereum. You should have majority of it, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is the perfect chance for us to accumulate more Bitcoin off of these trades. So the last time, as I, like I said, this market was going down. We had a lot of Bitcoin here, right here at this pivotal moment. We purchased Ethereum, right? I did it with about 15% of my total Ethereum. Now, Ethereum shot off. I made a whole bunch of money on that. And then I, I took profits and bought Bitcoin back right here. And then ever since there, I basically made like another 20%. Now it's time to get back into Ethereum. Does that make sense, guys? I'll explain the buy points towards the end of this video, but let me just give you guys something that's really interesting. So as you can see here, this article was created February 13th, 2017. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because this is actually when I went hard on Ethereum. So originally I started mining Ethereum at $7 and then there was a pivotal time around literally, I think the day before this, the day before this, I went hard, I put like seven to 10 grand in Ethereum. And then JP Morgan, as well as other big companies, the CME group, you know, uh, Microsoft, Cisco, these big companies actually partnered with the Ethereum Alliance. The Ethereum Alliance is basically like a membership including a whole bunch of financial institutions uh, that promotes Ethereum, you know, they invest in Ethereum projects. Uh, it's just a little organization. And the beauty is this potentially started the, the altcoin season and the bull run in 2017. Let me explain. So if we come over here, remember that date, this is February 13th. If we come over to February 13th, 2016, let me just get that back there. We come over here, look at this big run, right? And I'm gonna prove it to you, right? Look at this massive run right here. This is where you make money, right? The 20% are cool, and that's what we're talking about here, but we're, we're really waiting for this. That's in comparison to Bitcoin, okay, guys? This is in comparison to Bitcoin. This is not in comparison to USD. Again, the important part is, I want you guys to understand, we're gonna see these big jumps in very quick time. So if I'm wrong about this recent trade, it doesn't matter. We're gonna dollar cost average. Ethereum's still a good asset, even if it loses a little bit in comparison to Bitcoin. Once it does come back and shoots up, right? Once it gives us like this massive shoot up right here, and we see something like that, all you, you'll be in profit with all your Ethereum. Then at that point, maybe you might want to cash out into Bitcoin, whatever the case is. But as you can see here, I just want to show something. We've been basically creating a line of support all the way back since September 2019, and it hasn't been broken. So I definitely anticipate, you know, that it's going to come back to around this range here and then bounce off immediately. That's the goal, right? That the goal is that you know, we're gonna see this bounce off and reverse, right? And it's the same thing for the altcoins. You guys know I talk about this when it comes to altcoins as well. But back to the original point, look guys, this was like the catalyst for the last bull run, right? Let me, let me explain. So, and I'm not the only one that says this. So again, remember the date, right? So if we look at the date, this is, I don't know what, February 13th, February 13th, this is around this time right here. And then it took off like just a couple days later, like a week later, it took off, right? So if we go to Bitcoin's price, Right, and we look back to the same date. If we go back to Bitcoin's price of February 13th, 2017, you could see that shortly after, let me just go 2017, February 13th, you can see shortly after Ethereum did its thing, Bitcoin followed, right? Bitcoin came right after. So I would, I would say that Ethereum started the bull run considering it went up like thousands of percentages before Bitcoin did. Does that make sense, guys? And then all coins actually rallied right after and then Bitcoin started, you know, obviously taking off and, and taking a lot of the market cap from the altcoins. But the point I'm trying to get across is that Ethereum is a leading indicator in some cases, as well as altcoins for, you know, a major upswing. And we could use it, use that to our advantage to make money on Bitcoin, right? Kind of similar to the news that we got, um, you know, back in 2016, 2017. It's kind of similar, not really, but as you can see here, there's major institutions, you know, trying to get a piece of the Ethereum pie. 
As you can see, the CME recently announced plans to launch futures, Ethereum futures, okay? We've never had this before. They made the announcement December 16th. That was literally a, a couple of days ago. And they plan on launching it in February of 2021. That's literally like a little bit more than two months from now. So, you know, this is major news, guys. The last time Bitcoin got accepted, Bitcoin did very well um, when it comes to, the, you know, the CMEs and everything like that. And as well as you can see that they're actually launching a proposal, you know, on Ethereum called EIP-1559. This is going to be implemented and it plans on doing something really, really bullish for Ethereum. When they launch it, they're going to burn a lot of ETH. Now, I'm not trying to get into the on a protocol level, but basically, as you can see here, it brings a critical change. The network under the proposal will automatically propose a base fee price that adjusts to network activity, right? So it introduces a deflationary element as well. As gas is spent a bulk of that amount, ETH is burned, creating a diminishing supply of tokens. It's depreciating, not necessarily. I mean, it does have inflation, but they're burning tokens. That's all that matters, right? So the decreasing supplies is arguably one of the most attractive features for investors. So I anticipate that there's going to be a lot of new investors on Ethereum. They're already jumping into Bitcoin. We already know that. But when it comes to Ethereum, we're still not getting too much adoption. And I, I anticipate that once people realize the bullishness of Ethereum and the fact that they've been able to get all these developers and the fact that they've been growing more than any other ecosystem, as well as the fact that they have a new trend, which is DeFi under their ecosystem, all this bullish news is going to line up and Ethereum will steal the show eventually. We're waiting for, again for this big run, this massive run. We're, lo we're looking for that. This is where you like 5X your Bitcoin, right? When we see these massive runs like that. Also, everybody should know Ethereum 2.0 is coming out. The biggest problems on Ethereum right now is scalability, right? And the transaction fees. This will solve it. Now, I will say it's two years from now, right? The, the timeline is about two years till they actually implement proof of stake. But it's super bullish. People are, are taking part of it. And Coinbase and other exchanges, you know, are wanting to get a piece of this pie. So if you don't understand how staking works, you can delegate your stake. So you don't have to be like an original staker. You can go through Coinbase or something like that and stake your coins with Coinbase and then they take a fee. What does this mean? This means that Coinbase and major exchanges have a whole new cash flow revenue stream from Ethereum. So that means that they're gonna probably purchase a lot of Ethereum to anticipate this and people will purchase it just for staking as well. So this is extremely bullish in the long term. So the short term we're bullish, the long term we're bullish, right? Of course, we've been losing dominance to Bitcoin, but I really do think that's gonna change very soon. So what are my exact buy points? So right now, actually today, I took about 10% of my Bitcoin and I transferred it over to Ethereum. Now, that doesn't mean I think it's gonna to reverse today. I just wanna be ahead. My goal is not to be last. I don't wanna catch things perfectly. I wanna catch it a little bit ahead so I can take advantage because I'm not greedy, right? But the goal here is to look at this long support line, right? There's a long support line here, and you could even say that there's kind of a support and resistance line right here in this purple box. So we might reverse off this purple box kind of similar to we, what we did before in this recent history where we made a whole bunch of money, but we might keep going down. I mean, I, I don't care either way, right? Now, this doesn't necessarily mean, again, I wanna be very clear, this doesn't mean that Ethereum is going down in price. It just means that Bitcoin is doing better, right? So first position, I already purchased at the top of this purple box. If it reverses, I'll make a whole bunch of money and I'll start taking profit around here, around here, and then maybe like another one around here and then another one at the top here, and then I'll hold the rest. I won't take all the profit, but I'll take some profit, right? But if it keeps going down, my second buy position is gonna be at the cross of this kind of purple box here um, and this long support. So we're looking at about right here. So you could say maybe 0 0.023, and I have a limit order in Coinbase uh, for, this, for this right here. Basically what I'm doing is, uh, again, I'm selling Bitcoin and buying Ethereum, right? And I have an order in it, in, in my Coinbase. So you guys can do this, right? and you know, take advantage just in case it falls dramatically very quickly. And then if it keeps going down, again, it would not bother me, but you know, if it goes below this point, I'll be a little bit scared uh, for Ethereum. Uh, but to be honest with you, I don't think it's gonna go that far. Maybe, maybe this might be the furthest, right? But just know, I just want you guys to see, there's a historical uh, trend line all the way back from September, 2019. So I don't think it's gonna break its trend line. I think it just might you know, come down to here. It might go all the way to the line and then do something like this and then keep going out, right? So the whole point again is, I mean, we're gonna make some money here, but you don't wanna cash all of it out either. Like in these, these uh, sell points, you don't wanna cash out all your Ethereum because again, like you, you might make profit, but you don't wanna miss this. And this is why I never go all in on Ethereum or Bitcoin. I only do percentages. I know there were some people saying they went all in on ETH. It's just like, man, never make all in trades because you, know, you never know if you're wrong, right? If you're wrong, you're gonna lose a lot of money. But right here, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for that big jump. It's gonna come. 
It's, it's going to come. Ethereum is extremely bullish. They have more developers than any other protocol in the cryptocurrency industry. Uh, Ethereum is doing some great things. Uh, they have started a new trend in DeFi. There's nothing more bullish than Ethereum right now, and it's going to make us more money than Bitcoin. So you better acquire some more Ethereum when you can, and this might be a good time. But that's it for this video, guys. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with this technology, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Catch you in the next one. Alex here, quick update, quick announcement. Guys, I have a new community number. So I got a second phone. You could directly text me. I'm answering all questions. My new phone number is 954-758-5473. Again, that's 954-758-5473. I'm answering all comments. Go ahead and text me now. Let's have a conversation.